we've been presented with a bunch of food materials to make dessert with, and we are cooking for an anonymous guest. And we have very little in terms of uh, tools or mm -hmm. uh, materials. Either way, we're cooking for someone, not ourselves. Yeah. So there's actually like stakes to this. <laughs> Celebrity Mankar Judge uh, is going to be grading based on creativity, the plating, the uh, comedic value, mm. and then just the overall taste. Right. Probably gonna flambe a Lay's potato chip. Uh, I think that's a solid Ooh. choice. Both of us had to choose a secret ingredient to make part of our dish. Since David is winning right now in the man card challenge, uh, he's gloating behind me, isn't he? Uh, I get to pick my mystery ingredient first. That one rang a little, yeah. so I'm gonna go with the ring. Ha ha! A banana! Yeah. Oh. Banana! Oh. Bacon. bacon! Ooh! It's not, it's not actual bacon. Uh, no, it's real bacon. Me, being the arrogant fool I was, was like, what can he do with bacon bits from that oh. package, which isn't being refrigerated, so they're clearly not gonna be delicious. You just didn't, I just, you just think outside the box, man. Is that what you did? The Ooh. essence of Toucan Sam. Did we just get an idea? Yeah. Oh, we just got an idea, folks. Something happened. You're just holding a stick of butter. What if I am? I'm, just... warm, I'm warming it up, so uh, it spreads easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we start preparing these dishes and we're like five minutes in when our celebrity guest shows up and wow. I'm Adeline Mocker. I'm a singer songwriter from South Africa. Does, she doesn't mention this. She's also a bathing suit model. Yeah. Uh, and so we're extremely intimidated. I am here today to try out some of um, these desserts. I think a man that can cook is definitely a couple of notches sexier than a man that doesn't cook. Definitely the comedy is up there with this meal being prepared. I'm very entertained sitting here watching what they're doing. This woman knows her business of beautiful. And so she walks in, 10 feet away from us, watching us being like, like, mm. Mm, I might. Do you need these? Ooh, that's a good idea. Uh, no. Okay. This is gonna be half my challenge, just picking out all the red ones. What is that? Uh, I'm trying to reduce Skittles. <laughs> is it or not a recipe from your restaurant? Yes. Uh, so what I decided to do, uh, to complement my banana, is, uh, do a peanut butter and chocolate sauce with a dash of cinnamon. And I got uh, some nuts that I'm grinding up right now to, uh, to complete my dish. With my uh, plastic knife uh, to whisk the sugar. My favorite celebrity chef is my mom because she's polite. She's not mean. She's not British. I'm, I'm trying to win the comedy part of the, uh, <laughs> if I can get one of the four categories, then I will be a happy man. Ooh. I mean, hmm. <laughs> okay, one more of these. Okay, you know what? You keep hogging the sterno. I'm just pouring it in there to hold it until it's, uh, until it's done. Yeah. Clean this. It's fine. Clean it. Yes, babe. Yes, you are. <laughs> Doesn't know the name of the thing he needs. We didn't have like little things to, for me to put my dipping sauces yeah. in. You didn't have so those I had to things. improvise, yep. thinking on my feet like I do, mm. and I cut up some styrofoam cups that were uh, in the shop we were uh, working in uh, that were in a cupboard uh, <laughs> of random ingredients. Yep. I made and presented, like you should have seen the layout of the dish, it was lovely. We have a banana base, which was my secret ingredient. Uh, we have crushed uh, almonds with peanut butter and chocolate sauce, some uh, vanilla ice cream, and melted marshmallow. Bananas, I think bananas are delicious. I like it. You'll see there's some... It is a little... It's a little thick because of, <laughs> because of, because of, it's cooled a bit since I heaped it. And to quote her, she said, this is something you get in a restaurant. In a restaurant. What restaurant was yours served in? Hobo Alley? Is that a restaurant? Uh, basically, you just have the chips, which I did nothing to create. Uh, 
and you're just gonna just dip. We have this is more of a cold uh, cream cheese marshmallow uh, red skittle reduced uh, puff. I'll call it. And then here it is a uh, cinnamon maple chocolate bacon bit uh, dip. Bacon. Chocolate bacon. Here we go. Chocolate bacon maple cinnamon. I thought that was going to be worse than it was. <laughs> I was very stressed because this reminds me of kids playing and mixing a bunch of stuff together. <laughs> I'm exactly sorry. Presentation. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of plastic or a hair. Because you know what it was? It was a flavor blast. A flavor energy blast. Mm. And I was like, fondue. How do I describe this fondue? Oh, man, it's like a surprising ray of light that emits from your hands. Oh, fondue can. Street Fighter, sponsor us. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're both great. Your comedy is fantastic. Definitely stick to comedy and not cooking. <laughs> Adam, your dish was very safe. You know, you'd think that in a kitchen where you're eating things, you'd want to play it safe. No, people want to be excited. Mm. My decision out of the two is the fondue Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. At the end of the day, David out seduced me. He yeah. out seduced me because he needs to, because he's alone. David wins. I'm sorry, it's just this is the most like disappointed episode for me. Like this is of all the episodes that I lost, this is the the most. This is my highest high. Okay, here's the thing. Some women prefer different things and I happen to provide things that this woman didn't prefer.